right, man. So let me tell you, Rich Nation. First of all, what it is, everybody, it's your boy, Mike Rich, man. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Today, I'm going to vlog Wish Atlanta. Now, if you didn't know what Wish Atlanta is by now from seeing my vlogs, I've really promoted the mess. I, I've really just promoted Wish a lot by doing a lot of videos here. Um, I'm not the type of person that asks for anything in return. I have talked to a couple of the higher ups at Wish before. And, you know, they was like, oh, you got a YouTube channel. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I said, I'm not entitled. I don't need no special attention because I got a couple of uh, subscribers. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I never ask for anything. But I always catch the worst kind of ill. It's like I never hit on anything big at Wish unless I have... Like my, my boy Retro Rick was in line one time and he he just one of them guys that know how to get in the line, know how to work the line and all that stuff and get shoes, get limited sneakers. And he got me the SB Jordan 1 Low uh, Eric Costin guys. And I might probably got to win one more time, but the stuff that I really covet, the stuff that I really want, and this is a tier zero store, so they be having limited shoes. I never get out of here. That's why I started kind of like messing with LVRG because they kind of, um we got a relationship, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. But... So wish I can never, I've been going to wish, wish and Walters. I've been, Walters kind of messed with me a little bit, but I've been going to wish so long and promoting their store. I just be like, man, mm, like I said, I'm not entitled, but I just feel like they should have better communication skills. Not just with me, but with the whole public. I'm not even speaking just for me. So I, the, uh, the Nike KD4, uh, year of the dragon 2.0 drop. Uh, was it yesterday? It was on the seventh. So I think it was yesterday. Um, I went online when Nike tried on Nike. They sold out in like three minutes on Nike. Um, I ain't talk about the shot drop for the bread since I've been on that. We'll get to that. So anyway, I went on Nike and I, and I tried to cop and just like sneakers as always, you just never, especially stuff that limited. I heard after I tried that people on IG was telling me there was only 12,000 pill made or something like that. So I'm just like, Oh, that was slim pickings anyway. You know what I'm saying? So. Of course, I took an L in like three minutes. They were gone. They were out of there. No size. It was like pick another size, and then I refreshed, and it was just like sold out. So I said, okay, I'll take my L. I went to uh, GOAT right after that and just saw how much the resale was. A shoe retail at 150 Resale from GOAT in my size. I was going for a size 13 because them KD4s run real tight in the toe. And a size 12 and a half was like a crazy price. But size 13 was like, it was 228 i think after taxes and everything it was end up being like 257 so i was like man i'm gonna i might go ahead and buy them but let me try wish first i should have just went ahead and bought them off goat because wish posted at uh 10 o'clock in the morning they said available in online now available in store at 12 p.m that's when they open bruh Number one, they was never available online. You didn't see them on a website. You didn't see no links through their Instagram, Twitter, none of that stuff. They were not available online. No way. It said they was available online. Never available online. So I said, bro, I'm going to go up there on my lunch break. Um, I couldn't get here as fast as I want to because I stay probably, I mean, I work probably like 25 minutes away. So I pulled up. I, first of all, I tried to. Yeah, I hit him in the DM. I hit him in the comments. I was asking, are still fit pairs available? Are still fit pairs available? Nothing. So I called him. I called him. Couldn't get nobody on the phone. Even on the way there, I was calling him because I like, I'm going to turn around right now. If they oh, they say they sold out, couldn't get nobody on the phone. I pulled up here probably about 12, 15, 15 minutes after they opened. I didn't see no line. Nobody was on the inside. I said, bit. Ain't, don't nobody, ain't nobody caring about these like that. Maybe nobody don't want them. Nobody's in line. Nobody in the inside checking out none of that stuff. And it's only 15 minutes out of 12. I walked in there, bro. And I looked around the corner because they usually have the shoes sitting on the uh, register. And I just kind of did this face like shake my head like that. And dude was like, well, you want the KDs? I was like, yeah, because he can tell by how I was looking that I was looking for something specific that was not on that table. He said, yeah, man, they sold out as soon as we opened. We had a line. I said, so... It was nobody in there checking out, but in 15 minutes, you sold all your pairs and checked out and everybody paid for them and left at that quick. It's possible, especially if they only had like one size run or something like that. But once that happens, post on your Instagram or Twitter or something, the KD4 Year of the Dragon 2.0 is sold out. Just post on there. 
I was so mad. I was going to vlog the store and everything if I did the pickup vlog. I was going to do the pickup vlog, get the shoe, vlog the store, show everything they got. Which, like I said, I'm still going to do it because I'm in the area again. Like I said, I'm here. I'm at Wish Atlanta. You see them boys outcast in the background. Shout out to Killer Mike, too, for winning all them Grammys. And if people, all the people saying they don't know who Killer Mike was, they started off. he started off with these boys. Remember the, world, the uh, song, The Whole World? Google it. You know what I'm saying? But... Killer Mike, lyricist, fire, real rap. Shout out to him for winning all them Grammys. I don't care who say they don't know him. I know who Killer Mike is. You feel me? Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of my word. I'm in the area. I still vlog the store. See how I still do promotion after they don't have no good communication skills? I still talk about the store because I like shoes and it's a sneaker channel. So anyway, let's go and see what they got, man. Do it. Hey, man. Quick run through at um, Wish Atlanta. They still got the corporate got them, guys. In here, clean shoe, good materials. Got the regular, uh, usual suspects, usual suspects down there. Got these twos, looking super clean, man. I like these. I like these. I promise you, they going to good sale, man. Your boy might be picking them up, or I might be lying because I said the same thing about these, and they went on sale for like 120 or something like that. And I still didn't get them, but you know, just got a lot of shoes, y'all. You feel me? Got the, um, I kind of want these, but I'm gonna wait for the metallics. These neutral gray, Jordan 1 low, 85 cut guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait on the metallics though, because I really like the way that that uh, color blocking and the colorway is on the metallic guys. Still got these airships right here. I can't remember. I, I can't keep up with the names of the airships. Those are the airships though. Um, still got Navy, Air Jordan 3s. It's so crazy because this shape, like all the new Jordan 3 shapes supposed to be like the um, the white cements or the remasters. Not, I mean, not the reimagines, but this this don't look like that shape. This still kind of got like a fat like shape to it. It don't look like that shoe to me. I don't know. Y'all come below. Am I tripping? It seemed like the the uh, reimagines look different than the shape. Why? I don't know. Let me know. Maybe I'm tripping. Of course, got the yellow ochre. Sixes down there at the women's. I promise if they would have came in extended sizes, your boy probably would have caught because it's got real I'm I'm near vibes, neutral colors. You can rock these with a lot of stuff. Well, maybe not a lot of stuff, but you, you can I can pull some fits off with that. Um, they still got these black threes right here, leather tongue. Remind me of the Cyber Mondays, dope three. This is another shoe I wish came in my side because these super clean. I never actually saw this two right here. I guess the women's. Too, but um, I do them snake skin before I do these right here though. These are right. um, a sale price shoe for sure. The um, pink guys they drop a lot of tools, bro. I didn't realize that many tools be dropping everything, two dropping left and right. Is that canvas, the canvas on the two, okay. Then these MX ones is different right here, bro. I ain't never seen these. You know, the materials are crazy on these, bro. Vintage bottom again, you know how they like to do it. We got some hues of pink, some hues of beige and blue and turquoise and teal. You know what I'm saying? Got the yellow ochre looking tongue on them. I ain't mad at those, bro. Got a little dunk selection happening right here. Got those, got those, got those. Oh, that suede is nappy. That nappy dugout suede, <laughs> suede going on on them. I ain't mad at those either. The purple guys up there too. I ain't see these either. Okay then. Like I said, I'm not a big donkey, so I just try to show y'all what I see. You feel me? But look at these off whites, but these joints is heavy, but these them terror joints, bro. They just hurt your hand, like spiking my hand and stuff. That damn porcupine shoe, hey, hey, you talking about? I mean, I'm sure somebody got the drip to pull these off, but that somebody name is definitely not Mike Rich. Not me. The black phones. I don't even remember these dropping. I remember hearing about these was gonna drop, but I don't actually remember the the drop itself. No. What y'all think about the phones? Pewter is supposed to be coming back out, don't it? Or eggplant, something like that. Y'all tell me what y'all thinking about the um foam action. Barkley guys, pennies. Got the um. Speaking of KDs, the KD threes was nowhere near as popular as I think the KD four might have been the most popular uh, KD. So. And then, like I said, I'm pretty sure they probably made more of these. They barely made any of those uh, Year of the Dragon 2.0 joints. I ain't never seen these before. Snake skin, laney type vibes on the Air Max 1. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about them. I thought they were actually sold out of these since I ain't seen them downstairs. I got them up here on display. 
They ready for y'all to come buy them, shawty. You feel me? These different. They got the ostrich action going on on the dunks. The green ostrich with a little Vaseline on that guy. He ain't talking about like the little casing and how they got them sitting, the little Grinch action. I bet you that's where the Grinches was at when they dropped. They got some Air Force Ones with those type of vibes too. They also got like a tan color one. Uh, and they got some, I guess these are the newer release dunks right here. You know, some different colors on the Zooms or the Gore-Tex. I don't think I say Zoom, but is it a Zoom? No, it's just the Gore-Tex guy. I know these Vomeros dropped yesterday. Um, yeah, on the one or two sides left, he said. Then they got these. They dropped yesterday as well. I did a whole review on these. Um, I did an early review, but I, I forgot to edit and, and drop it. But you can see Air Jordan 2 Low. Can't remember the name of the colorway. I kind of like this one better than that high that dropped recently, though, with the snake skin on it. It's more of a like beige kind of snake skin. Vintage meant so again, but you know. I like the grades and stuff like that. They kind of hard, man. So I guess that that review video went to waste, but here, yeah, y'all still get to see them in the vlog, man. So there they are. Yeah, man. So I'm back at the crib, shouted, and um, I did, I did um, voice my concerns with the communication or lack thereof at Wish. Like I said, I'm not nobody special. They, them folks at Wish barely act like. I don't, like I said, they sell sneakers, but they barely. I mean, they don't know me put it that way they don't know me i've actually introduced myself to one of the owners julie um years ago and it was just to get permission to like vlog in the, in the store and stuff like that and she just like she brushed me off like peasants you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm like, okay then but she didn't tell me i couldn't record so that's good i mean she was she didn't care she didn't care if i recorded or not hey, free promotion for her you feel me um but i told her about my youtube channel all that stuff and i was just like she was just like you know whatever but um so I talked to the management in the other day, and I was just like, bro, I came all the way from work. If y'all would have just put a post up that said the shoe was sold out or answered the phone and just some kind of notification so I know not to go to this store because I didn't know how limited they was. I didn't know that if people was trying to uh, get these KD4s, you know what I'm saying? Like, I heard a few people talking about it, but most, like, newer sneakerheads and resellers and stuff like that, they were like, man, we don't, KD, like, we don't care about that shoe, you know what I'm saying? So I just had no idea... Um, I, like I said, if I'd known they was as limited as they was, I probably wouldn't have went out there no way because I know a lot of times when shoe is that limited, a, a mom and pop store like a boutique like that will probably just get one size run. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, Bread for Shot Drop did happen. Uh, I didn't go for them, of course. Uh, I started to go for them for some, some people to help some people out, but by the time I got on there, like I, went, I literally could care less about that drop and then the Shot Drop happened and I was like, my bad. You know what I'm saying? They fine. Like, I, every time I say I don't want the shoe or I'm not copping, people like, okay, Rich, we get it. You not copping. They either saying that or they like, Rich, you gonna cop, y'all. We know you gonna get them. You always go back on your word, which a lot of times I do. Uh, see a shoe in hand and make me change my mind. It's just that I don't need these. Trying to be selective 2024. I'm trying to be real selective and I'm trying to stick to that. And um, I really don't need that shoe. If I want that, if I want that drip, I just pull out my 2019s on a straight but shout out to everybody comment below if you did hit on the shot drop for the reimagined uh bread fours let me know if y'all hit man congratulations to everybody who did hit i'm happy for y'all go ahead and rock your bread fold man rock them clean man put them out there on your feet with your feet pull your feet off and get cleansed on them you feel me um but that's it man i think that's it for today i got more videos coming up some early views i mean some early looks and stuff like that like i said i did a whole early back room uh locker room or stock room review of those air joint two lows but um i've been so busy and i got a whole lot of personal stuff going on family wise i just i have not been focused this week bro and like i didn't even know this i did a review and i didn't even realize that the shoe dropped was it today or ye yesterday wednesday i think the shoe dropped so you know what i'm saying anyway i appreciate y'all for watching y'all come below and tell me what y'all thought about this vid like i said it wasn't a whole lot of new stuff in this vid but i don't, I, I don't know just i just think we need some communication man or sometimes these stores be thinking that they just they don't have to communicate we're gonna sell these shoes anyway and, and and it's the nature of the beast you know what i'm saying like it's the nature of the beast you win some you lose some we're gonna still keep getting the shoes in they're gonna still keep selling out and but like like i said if you do appreciate your customers i think we sh you should get a little bit better communication and let them know if the shoe is sold out say it's sold out if it's Whatever, you know what I'm saying? They said the shoe was going to be online and it wasn't online, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm, I think I'm done with Wish. I take so many L's at that store, bro. 
like everything I've tried to get, like I said, with, with, or the, um, besides like as far as any kind of limited sneakers, um, besides the Jordan One Low Co Eric Costins, which is right over my head right there, if y'all can see it in that case. That's the only shoe I hit there. That shoe resale price is ridiculous. The shoe was super limited and stuff, so I'm glad I was able to get it. But that was uh, thanks to Retro Rick. Like I said, I'm I'm too. I don't say I'm too old, but I've been in the game so long. Excuse the kids in the background, if you hear them. I've been in the game so long, like I don't want to stand in no damn line. I honestly just if the resale ain't too bad and I can't catch it for retail, I rather either I'm gonna pay resale or I'm just gonna move on to the next release. I ain't, I ain't got I ain't got that in me no more, bro. I'm tired of that. I ain't got that in me standing on line and wait and just go through all these different avenues to try to get a shoe. I rather just I'm blessed enough to the point where I can put an extra couple of dollars on the shoe. Like I said, I ain't really crazy about paying resale either. But if I had to do it, I had to do it. It's part of the game, man. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I did. Oh yeah, <laughs> I said all that and then didn't even mention that I did yesterday, like right after Wish, actually before. Was it before or after? It was it was right around the time. I think it might have been right after Wish. Um I realized they didn't they didn't have a shoe. I just went on GOAT and just copped it. Like I said, two hundred and fifty seven dollars after I just, really I just paid an extra hundred dollars for that shoe, so I didn't really like doing that, but I got them. They're on the way now. I mean, hopefully they're on the way. Hopefully they didn't see how limited they was. And, you know, sometimes people just, they're, they're renege on the price. And they be like, hell no, nah, you ain't finna get these. I can get more for them. Because that last time I looked at the price, they still weren't that bad. So anyway, unboxing of that KD4 coming up. And it's also making me wonder how these KD4 Galaxies going to do. Because it depends on how many they're going to make. These was real limited. Um, I had the Year of the Dragon 1.0 uh, KD4. And I gave that to my son. And I haven't seen this shoe since. I don't know what the hell he did with it. And I still got the, um, it's up there somewhere, the KD4 um, uh, Black History Month. And that shoe fit real tight now for some reason. When I first bought it, I used to wear it all the time and it fit perfect. But for, I think my feet must have expanded. I gained a little weight and I got older and maybe my feet expanded some. So I went with a 13. That's a size 12 right there and it's super tight. And um, maybe that 13 work out. Kind of like my Kobe's. All my Kobe's I wear a 13 in. You know what I'm saying? So anyway... I done held y'all long enough. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell. So, can so you can become a part of Rich Nation staying all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my videos because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Watch me so stupid, the Dara. Check out my kiss on the para. Rich like a king of Pharaoh, yeah. Yeah, Air Capitan, they callin' me jet like I'm Sparrow. East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like Tia Tamara, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, stayin' blessed, I'm keepin' my eye on the Sparrow. Man of the people, you did, they singin' my name just like it's a carol. Cause Mike got the juice by the barrier, yeah. I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah. Rich, rich, rich. I just cannot.